Hello folks, welcome to another review. This is a new TV box I have. It's called the Zydo X9. It's an M-Star quad-core TV box, Android TV box. It has 2 GB RAM, 8 GB flash. Like I said, it's based on M-Star chipset. Very nice box. Very high quality. Let's unpack all the accessories and see what's inside. Okay. Warranty card. User instructions, very organized. This is the box, I'll be right back with it. Standard HDMI cable. Power supply unit. And remote control unit. Also high quality. Rubber keys, very nice. Okay, let's go to the box itself. It's a very nice box made from aluminium material, not plastic, like traditional Android TV boxes. You can see the quality, of course, very nice. <clears throat> on the left you can see the all the ports USB ports you have two USB version 2 ports and one USB 3 port in blue you can see and a T micro TF card slot here here are the ser a series of uh, venting slots you can see it has nice venting like I said, it's made from aluminium, very high quality. This is the base unit, also the cover itself is made from aluminium material. You can see the venting also, also here and here, very high quality. It has two dual Wi-Fi antennas, you can see, very nice. Let's see all the ports on the back, switch, this is the power on off switch of course, Ethernet LAN, this is the optical, reset recovery all, button you can say, and that's the HDMI input. With the HDMI input you can record any video input, including a cable TV box, you can connect it to it. And record it. There's a special PVR application built in the, the Android operating system. So you basically rec record anything and it works very nice with Israeli cable TV company. Very nice. This is the of course the audio AV port standard analog and of course you have the HDMI output for the TV itself, video out and audio and you have the DC input, power supply unit, port it's a very nice box it, let's talk about XBMC, ok as for XBMC it supports uh, 1080p video playback very smooth. Um, if you need 2K and 4K, it doesn't support fully, still has problems like the Rock Chip uh, chipset, but you don't need any 4K and 2K basically. And uh, you can check my full review about the product and the item description uh, information on, on the video. And uh, I hope you enjoy it. And thanks for watching. Bye. Back to my second part video showing the interface, the UI, and special features the Zido X9 has to offer. You can see the UI is pretty good, very easy to handle. 
Here you have applications section. Some applications are offered for download, suggestions. Here is the games option, also nice. That's, this is the video, shows various applications, including YouTube you can download, just su suggestions. Media Center, let's go to it. Also, you can run Kodi, it's got, it comes pre-installed with Kodi. Very nice. Here is the music section also. Nice options there. You can add and customize your applications. Of course, Google Play, Google Play. Browser, okay. This is the settings option. You can see it's the information. It runs Android 4.42. KitKat. Here you have languages, everything you need. All the basic languages. Okay. You have the option to set location and uh, display the weather, special application, also nice. You can select various themes, not active, but I think in the next version will be active, also nice. This is the display information about the version, the firmware, and version, TGB RAM, 8GB flash. It supports online updating, over the air updating. So you don't need to localize, local, install any local updates. It's only an option. So if you have internet connection, you can download the firmware online. Uh, what's next? App applications, also nice. Okay, let's talk about the PVR option. It allows you to record any video signal through the, the HDMI input. Okay, let's click on it. You can see the UI, UI display on the video itself it's the, basically the PVR option personal video recorder you can save the uh, formats the file formats in MP4 or TS format HD full HD it works very well this is the the cable station so if I want to record you can see it's all under Android operating system. Let's try to record something. Okay, let's full HD and power. Okay, start recording. And you see it starts to record. Very advanced. And it saves the file in full HD, of course. So it's basically like a VCR system, you can say. Let's stop the recording in a second. This is a special feature you don't see in many TV boxes. After you stop the video, the save file is, should be on the list. Tab. Let's check. You can see, okay, it's a few files, few of my trials, let's try and play, play something.
excellent recording quality. You can see. Let's talk about the connections. I'm using an Israeli cable TV company, TV box. It's connected to the HDMI input in the box. I'll show you in a second. Here are the connections. You can see. So one goes to the t TV and the other one is from the TV box itself to the HDMI input in the box. Very simple connections. And uh, I hope you enjoy my short review of the Z Zydo X9. And thanks for watching.